Nation with Buford P. Johnson. Today's show is dedicated to those fine American soldiers out there fighting for our freedom. Well, they're doing a little hunting too. And also, today we have a special guest who will be out hunting with me tomorrow. It's my good buddy, Daryl, from the uh, Cooking Cheap with Roadkill show. So, uh, we're going to have a real good show today. So be sure to, to just tune in. Here comes Daryl now. Daryl, I swear you look like Rambo. I told you, you, you just you're you're just taken away from this whole hunting thing, looking like that. First off, you got your gun right in my face, and that's one of the reasons I got Daryl on the show today. He's never hunted before. So I'm going to teach him all the safeties to hunting. And I can see that he's going to need a lot of advice. I got to go pee. Thanks, Darrell. This is a live show. Uh, that was quite a surprise. That was such a rude interruption. I've never had nobody walk out on my show, especially to pee. But I'll tell you, I feel so sorry for that poor old boy. Uh, they have that cooking cheap with roadkill show, and I, I'm just afraid one of these days they're going to get real sick from eating that roadkill. I'd like to take them out and introduce them to fresh wild game. Uh, well, well, we're waiting on Daryl. We got some mail from our postcards to Beefers. Part of the shed. Let's see. Letter here says, Dear Mr. Johnson, My name is Timmy Peterson. I am 16 years old. From Harlan County, Kentucky. I am a big fan of your show and have learned a lot from it. Like being arrested by the game warden and charged with hunting on posted land and recklessness of a firearm, and no blaze orange. Thanks for teaching me the proper way. Your hunting buddy, Timmy. P.S. When should I clean my gun after I shoot it? Well, Timmy, I like to clean my gun at least once every five years or so. Keep it in good, proper maintenance. And, and thanks for writing in, Timmy, and for writing in, we're going to send you a free bottle of Stinks Like Hell Dopey. It's a fine dopey. Uh, I've been using it for a long time. I've had real good success with it. And always, our show is brought to you by Stinks Like Hell Dopey. Well, well thank goodness here comes Daryl. Daryl, while you was out, I got a letter here, and it just mentioned something about some blaze orange. Now, I hope you're not going to wear that in the woods tomorrow. You keep, it's just not hunting etiquette. Uh, we need to get you some camouflage. Go down to the Army Navy store and get you some camouflage, and, and get you a blaze orange hat. You can find them in most all hunting and fishing stores. We're also going to be teaching gun safety. And first off, you can't bring that machine gun in the woods. It's just, you just, it's laws against it. And secondly, you got to always pay attention to your surroundings. Like, look out for young kids and, and vehicles and such. And once we get you, once we get you uh, fixed up on those, and, and Daryl, you can't be drinking no beer while you're hunting. Now that just ain't proper. You can't be drinking either. So you're going to have to come in the woods in the morning, bright and early. I like to get in the woods about 12 o'clock noon. That's a good time to hunt. Uh, you bring your blaze orange cap and your, your uh, camouflage and, and uh, pick you up a good hunting rifle or shotgun. Uh, something, talk to your sporting goods dealer 
uh, and ask him. They, they're, they'll tell you what you need. So, uh, we're going to uh, be ending the show here, and uh, stay tuned, because uh, we're going hunting for some white-tailed deer. You ready to go get them, Daryl? Let's go get them. When me and Daryl ain't in our kitchen cooking up some of that good roadkill, we're watching Turkey Talk at 10.30 Thursday night on Channel 9. Turkey Talk. Oh, turkey Talk. That's right, Turkey Talk. Well, folks, here we are out in the woods. The deep woods. There's snow on the ground. Tracking's gonna be good today. Waiting on Daryl. He should be coming along any minute. I hear him now. Come on down here, Daryl. Well, folks, I told Daryl to go to the Army Navy store and get fixed up. It looks like they did a real good job. You look like a real soldier there, Daryl. <laughs> All right, folks, we're going to go tracking some deer now. You ready to go get them? Let's go get them. Be careful here, Daryl. Oh, look here, Daryl. Deer tracks. See them deer tracks? All along this tree. Looks like it's heading in that direction. Yeah, let's go get him, Daryl. Follow me, Daryl. Come on, Daryl. tracks are split off. It looks like one set of tracks went that way, one set of tracks went this way. Darrell, you need to get some gloves. You're going to freeze your hands on. I told you to bring some gloves. You got some gloves? Uh-huh. Darrell, them ain't hunting gloves, son. How you going to pull the trigger? They ain't going to work. They ain't going to work at all. All right. We're hot on the trails, dear. Daryl, it's time to use a little stinks like hell dough pee. It does a good job. I like to just dab a little on me and just to get my breath right. All right. Here, Daryl, do what I did. Okay, Daryl, you'll get your breath right. Now. All right, let's go get them, Daryl. You go that way, I'll go this way.
shoot me, Daryl. Don't shoot me. Oh, Lord. Daryl, you go that way. A long ways. I'll go this way. A long ways. Go get him, Daryl. Look, Daryl. Deer. Sheep. Sheep. Hold your bar. Hold it, Daryl. Hold, Hold it. Bar. It ain't a Hold deer. Hold your bar. Hold your fire. Hell fire, boys. What the hell y'all doing up here shooting up the place? Y'all on maneuvers or something? Uh, Who no. the hell said y'all could be on maneuvers? Actually, we're hunting. This is the Buford P. Hunting and fishing with Buford P. Johnson show. Colonel Johnson? Who the hell's Colonel Johnson? No, I'm Buford P. Johnson. This is my hunting show. Who the hell said y'all could hunt on private property? The National Forest is over that way, boys. I'm Daryl. I, I, he's Daryl. I seen a sign up on Get the Get the hell off my property it right says, now. It said hunting. Okay. Now! Okay, Daryl, let's go. Hell, fire. Get somebody killed like that. He's done lost his property line or something because I know he's on uh, hunting property. But anyway, just just to make him happy, we're me and Daryl, we're going to go hunt over here about a mile or two. Got to change our strategy around a little bit. We can go get him anyway. Damn it, Daryl, you shot me. <laughs> well, that show didn't go the way I planned. Uh, it could have turned out a lot better. But Daryl, he was happy. He found a dead raccoon and a dead possum. He said he was going to take back to Jeb and put on their next cooking show. 
So, this is Buford P. Johnson. Stay tuned to our next show. I'm going to stay away from the guns for a while. I'll be fishing for rainbow trout. And I always use the stinks like kale dope. Okay.